Hey there guys, welcome to Q&A 41, a very special Q&A. By the way, like Q&A 41, how did we get here? I don't know. This is going to be a very long Q&A, so uh, if you want to go grab your popcorn, grab your drinks, uh, or do something else with your life, like just listen to this in the background, because all you really need is the audio. That's just my motto. Anyway, uh, but first I have a question for you. Do you guys like puppies? Huh? That sounds weird. It sounds like I should be in a white van driving down the road saying that. Anyway, uh, if you guys like puppies, I have a very special animal clip for you. It's a little bit weird, a little bit strange. pretty sick and twisted right anyway that video is called satanic puppies it makes sense uh, that's from the channel soiled britches soiled britches I wish my channel was called that that video is part of the headstone comedy series if you like sick and twisted humor definitely check out the rest of the video so anyway if you want to click right here to watch the rest of the satanic puppy video you sickos and to uh, subscribe to soiled britches to watch the rest of the full comedy series Ooh, okay let's stretch out Let's stretch out. You guys ready? I'm ready. Uh, here's the thing, okay? I have a lot of viewer response videos, and those are going to be the first questions I get to because that's what I said in the last Q&A. But here's what I want to do from now on, okay? If you guys want to do a video response and ask me a question, please try to keep it about 15 to 20 seconds long, okay? That way we can go through the videos and, and make it quick and keep going and going uh, because some of these videos are a few minutes long, and uh, I watched all of them. By the way, thank you guys if you submitted a video entertaining I will say that um, but some good questions here so let's just jump into it I don't even know what we're doing how we're gonna play this out I have two questions for you today the first one is how do you put music from a movie soundtrack into your YouTube video without copyright the reason I ask that is I have okay so how do I put music copyrighted music into my videos without stealing it basically well the answer is there's something called the free use act and if you want to put music in there for a parody reason a news type reason or for review um you're covered under the fair use act now can you always get away with that no my recommendation to you is if you want to put copyrighted music into one of your videos use the least amount of that music possible i mean literally the smallest amount that you can get away with um and uh it should be okay by the way the way youtube's new operating system works if you upload a video with copyrighted content in it and youtube doesn't like it they'll let you know right there once it's uploaded if it was flagged for something so if that happens go back re-edit it uh, but uh, for the most part if you can stay within that fair use guideline area you'll be okay hey john how's it going Alright, uh, what's your thoughts on Donnie Darko? Donnie Darko, Patrick Swayze plays a pedophile. Really enjoyed the movie. And that was from uh, 0420 Good Day. Thank you for the question, my good man. Hello, John Flickster. I am a big fan of Fight Club, which is my favorite movie of all time. Fight Club. And I just have a quick question. I heard a rumor that there was going to be a sequel to Fight Club in comic book form with permission from the author of Fight Club, Chuck Palahniuk. I just want to know your thoughts on this. Well, here's my thing. Uh, if it's just going to be comic book form, why not? You can get away with anything in a comic book, right? I just hope if they're going to go the whole route, I hope somehow, some way, Bitch Tits Bob returns. I know he's kind of dead, but I hope some way they can include Bitch Tits Bob in there. Um, but that'd be an interesting take. I, it'd also be interesting if they could kind of take that same concept that was in the first fight club and give it to somebody else like the first one had edward norton he was kind of like this bored guy with his job he worked a nine to five lived in a condo bought shit he didn't want and didn't need and then he had this alter ego i'd, I'd be curious to see if they took another personality and did the same thing so anyway that was from uh, mma caliber the next one's from tom lucas Actually, this is tom 218 my question is what do you think of the film planet terror starring spanish Michael J. Fox. I like how he has a random picture of Spanish Michael J. Fox on the side. Um, hey, Doc, we got to go back to 1985. That's my Michael J. Fox impression. Planet Terror. i seen it in the theaters. The best thing about Planet Terror and um, Death Proof was the uh, fake trailers in between both movies. Uh, I remember the one trailer. If you guys get bored sometime, go to YouTube. It was called, like, Thanksgiving coming this Thanksgiving. And I remember one guy was like on a, it was supposed to be like a scary B-rate horror film. And this one guy's all propped up on the table like a turkey with a baster in his ass. 
I don't know. That was the funniest thing. Me and my friends laughed at that. We made fun of that for like the next year and a half of our lives. But Planet Terror, it was okay. I watched it one time in the theater. Uh, I, I overall enjoyed it. I liked the B-rate comedy zombie thing going on. Plus, that was like the first time we got to see a chick with a gun on her leg in a movie. Tevry Smolka. What seat are you going to get? Are you going to get the PS4 or the fucking Xbox One? Neither. I'm not going to get the Xbox One or the PS4. Uh, not right away. I might give in a couple years down the road. Uh, just because I... For some odd reason, I feel like one day I'm going to have a little extra cash in my pocket. I'm like, fuck this. I'm just going to go buy the, the Xbox One to fit in with my friends. Uh, but the thing is, I don't I don't really even play video games anymore. I literally don't have time to play them. I wish I did, but... And plus, the other thing is, a lot of my friends I used to play online talking shit to, you know, eight-year-olds playing Call of Duty, and all my other friends, would we'd all be in, like, a, a game together. Everybody else kind of just... We don't have that schedule anymore in life, so it's kind of like the fun of playing online is gone for me. Next one's from Charlie Shields. Hey, John Flickpick. Uh, I was wondering if you have this... On Blu-ray, and they're dragging a uh, 40th anniversary special edition. Yeah, uh, I don't have. It, he showed me Enter the Dragon, and I don't have that movie. Uh, I I enjoy Bruce um, Lee movies. Um, that's a man I'd like to meet and fight. Like I'd like to fight him. Like he'd kill me instantly, but I could just. I'd like to just. You know what I mean? Don't you just want to get your ass kicked by someone you know who can kick your ass, but it'd be kind of an honor to get your ass kicked? Like, he just puts his hand out like that and does that, and my, he flicks my heart, and I just die instantly. All right, next one's from uh, Big Face 24 Hey, John Flick, Big uh, Flickster. He's wearing uh, a Superman Brian shirt. from Los Angeles, California. Uh, big fan of his dude. I love your videos. Thank uh, you. The McDonald's uh, video is one of my favorites. The uh, McDonald's video. Best trips are also hilarious. And tell you, I wish you could take your camera inside and uh, let people see, you know, uh, how you, when you go inside and all the crazy people probably looking at you with the camera in your hand. Uh, I had a couple questions. Uh, I have some Blu-rays here that uh, I wouldn't mind, uh, you know, giving away to you if you want to check them out. Uh, asking, uh, Hall Pass. I know, uh, I know you already have these because you just me that uh, this is. Uh, so you showed me Hall Pass, Blair uh, Witch Project. One. A lot of good movies. I have uh, Arkham City for uh, Xbox or PS3, whichever you prefer. I'll send them out with any of these if you're interested in any of them. Thank you for the offer. You keep the movies. Just keep watching my videos. That's all I ask from you. So I want you take those movies, you sell them on eBay, and, and buy something you like. But thank you. That uh, means a lot that you offered those, man. Next question is from Jazam. That's his username. Okay, my question for you, Johnny Flickster. Oh, God, I got serious. Is who is your favorite Marvel superhero? Oh, that's a very... You got all serious on that thing, man. I was scared what was going to come next. I was like, what is this guy going with this? Um, Marvel superhero. I, I guess I'd have to say the Incredible Hulk. I, just talk about a guy who's a badass. That's the Incredible Hulk. I, I And also just visually the most entertaining to, to just to look at. A big green guy who's fucking hopped up on steroids. All right, Go to the next one here from Andrew O'Malley. This video is a video response to oh, a video to response. Q and A forty where he asked his listeners, I suppose. He's got a shit ton of Batman stuff stashed behind him right now. His viewers to ask a question in the form of a video and make a video questions also. Okay. I was making a one-off video. I might as well go all out and demonstrate my inner Batman nerd as a movie maker. I really enjoy his short, his short films. I'm really, really excited for it, actually. I'm a massive fan of Chris, as I've already said. And I'm just okay, I watched his video previously. I'm sorry. I, I just, I'm trying to skip around and make this go faster. He asked me, essentially, uh, if I, um, Andrew O'Malley here, asked me if I watched Stuckman's short films. Yeah, i actually seen some of his older Indiana Jones movies. He's got a Stuckman, if you guys are familiar, other YouTube movie uh, reviewer. Has a new movie called Julia. Um... I, I've only seen little bits and pieces of it, uh, but that's I haven't seen the whole thing. I think he's still working on it to answer your questions. Okay, the next one's from Matthew Theor Viewer. For John Flickster on the John Flickster channel. This is for Q and A forty. Goddamn right it is. I have a I have two questions for you. The first one is, what do you think if Chris Nolan and Christian Bale made a Punisher reboot? That's never going to happen. Uh, I think it'd be 
freaking awesome if they did that. Uh, Christian Bale would make a good Punisher, uh, and Nolan directing it, you're going to get a good movie, but they're never going to do it, ever, ever, ever. Oh, Johnny, I want to know what... Hello, Johnny! <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Right. Where is Tiny Todd? And... Oh, God, why is... <laughs> and I want to know if you can bring him over. What the fuck is happening here, kid? The youth of America frightens me, but thank you for watching my videos. That's for Max Pichardo. Tiny Todd's sitting in a closet upstairs. I actually have a lock in the door because, as you know, he's probably going to come out one night and kill me and my family. All right, the next one is from uh, How's it going, everybody? Spencer so Drake. Today we're going to be making kind of a different video. We're going to be making a uh, video response to John Flixer's Q&A. Number... Uh, Button. No, we didn't. Uh, I'm just going to talk about the question anyway. No, so what, they have very similar lighting to me. They have like a green light facing back there and a blue light facing there. Yes, we are. No, yes, no, we agreed no, that I, I was going to do this. You're next time. We, my arms went twitching for the last three days and I don't really know what to do. I had to lay off the, the man, the alone time with yourself, my good man. And once it starts twitching, you take a break, put a little ice on it, work it out for a couple weeks, and then go back to the action. I had a cousin whose arm twitched like that all the time. He's dead now. Question is, who is your favorite Marvel villain? Favorite Marvel villain? I, it might be Magneto, off the top of my head, because he has an ideology about him. Like, he's not going to put up with that happy-go-lucky shit. It's us or them. We have to kill them, or they're going to kill us. And I've always, I, like, I can believe in that a little bit. Okay, so George Jones here asked me if I've seen the Godfather films. I have seen all the Godfather films. I'm uh, not a huge fan at all of, of part three of the Godfather uh, movies, but um, part two is my favorite. But fun, another fun-filled fact, since we're on flick fact time right now, is the originally the original concept for the um, third God, Godfather film, or it was at least pitched once, was to turn it into an action movie uh, with Sylvester Stallone. And he was going to be a kick-ass badass throughout the entire movie. That was one of the original ideas. Okay, guys, so those were all the viewer videos this week. Uh, like I said, if you could, next time, if you submit a viewer video, um, it will be answered first. But keep it about 15, 20 seconds. Just give me the question, put a little wit, a little charm in there, get a little bit crazy, a little bit creepy. Okay, now let's jump into the comment questions here. How long? This video is going to be long as hell. I'm sorry. Uh, but hey, like I said, if you got nothing else to do, keep watching. It's going to get good, I promise. All right, keep in mind, I'm going to skip over some of the questions. So if I skip over your question, it's not because I don't like you. It's just because I probably answered it 20 times already. Um, hey, John, uh, have you ever watched WWE? If so, who's your favorite wrestler of all time? Back between 1998 and 2002, huge wrestling fan. I always watched it. I never watched WCW, ever. I was like, yeah, I don't. But WWE, back in the day was the most entertaining TV series of all time for me. And I remember watching wrestling, and for the first six months I watched it, like back in 98, I thought it was real. And then I one day found out it wasn't. And then, but I went, I was like, I'm not going to watch it anymore. That's not real. But I was like, then I asked myself, I was like, do I like movies? Do I like scripted entertainment? Yeah. So I went back and kept watching it. I'd say at one time, Mankind was like the end-all, be-all badass to me. So I'd say Mick Foley, Mankind. Um... Hey, Johnny McLovin, what's your favorite scene from Superbad? My favorite scene from Superbad is when they're in home ec class and they're, lear they're like learning how to cook. And um, Michael Sarah looks back at Jonah Hill and he's by Emma Stone and he's going. And he, I, I, that right there made me laugh. That was one of the funniest scenes in my life. And I reenacted that scene for about six months afterwards. Um, is there any hope left for Flick Video Games? If you don't know, I have another channel called Flick Video Games. Uh, I made a few videos and kind of just yeah, lost a little bit of interest in it. To be honest, I don't know. Video games take so much time. They're so consuming. And I really, I just don't have the time to give it the, the attention I think it should have. I don't want to half-ass it, put it that way. So right now I'm trying to focus on two channels. And right, it's hard enough to do that. So maybe one day. Um... Hey Johnny, big I'm a big fan of the old Snow White and Seven Dwarfs, but it costs 50 or 60 bucks. Do you think they'll ever release the Blu-ray for cheaper? Uh Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs cost $60? I think I have that. I feel like I do. Yes, I do. Right there. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs on Blu-ray. 
I paid like $8 for it. I found it in some random pawn shop covered in dirt. Uh, what kind of shampoo do you use? Now that's the question. Those are the questions I like. Um, I actually, sorry, I got a little too excited. Uh, I use Head and Shoulders. And my girlfriend buys all this other shampoo, like 17 different bottles of shampoo. I'm like, why do you need this? What are you doing with this? Like, I get this bottle, but what are these other 15 bottles, what do these do? I don't get it. Um, so sometimes I put the blue, I just call it the blue shampoo and the, and the orange shampoo. I mix those around and get a little bit crazy, put them in my hair. Um, what lighting do you have for your basement? It looks huge. Do you recommend it? Yeah, those, Spencer and Drake, those are the guys I was talking about in the video responses that have similar similar lighting to my videos. Um, does it look huge? It, my basement's really not that big at all. It's, um, I actually, what I did is uh, I went to Lowe's, a hardware store, and they have these 100 watt light bulbs that look like they belong in like a, a pool or something. And I just put those in clamp lights and face them at the wall. So that's what I did. And I actually, I'm, I was, I was going to go today and buy some more. I want some different colors. I'm thinking like a yellow, a yellowish background. What do you guys think? What color should this background be? Uh, I like the green though. The green's a little bit majestic. Um, any concert experiences? Are you excited for the new Flash movie coming out? Well, I even said in one of my videos they're making a Flash movie. And I guess that technically wasn't ever officially announced. But they are making a Flash TV show. Um, so as far as the movie, I, I'd like to see one. Um, <clears throat> any concert experiences? Uh, I've only been to a few. The one that I always remember is I went to Flaw at uh, some hole in the wall place, and there was a it was like my first ever mosh pit experience, and I got my ass kicked. It was awesome. And then it got so hot in there, I had to go outside and puke. Good times. Um, can you do a Heisenberg quote as Mark Wahlberg? Off the top of my head, um, <laughs> here it goes. Hey, what are you doing over there? Hey, hey, say my name. Um, that's all I got for you. Hey, guess what? You better call your cable company and cancel HBO, because I'm going to kick your ass. That's a new one. That was original. I made that up. Um, if Breaking Bad was a show 10 years ago, who would be in it? 10 years ago. I don't know. I'm trying to think of some B-rate TV actor that would probably star as Heisenberg. None's coming to mind right now. Hey, John, if you could become a Mexican, would you? I don't know. I don't... I would like the constant tan. But I don't know. Um... Do you know Tom Hardy was addicted to crack cocaine in his mid-20s? I, I remember reading something about him. He was uh, into drugs at one time in his life. Uh, that's, it, I think that's a good thing. I think things like that build you up in life and give you life experience. And I think that's why he can act the way he does in his movies. Hey, John, how, how did you and your girlfriend meet? And what did you say to seal the deal to make her want some of the flick? I like that. Uh, I remember, I remember back in the day I rode my bike around and I, I seen her hanging out with people and I was like, oh, I like that girl. And then years later, I remember I could drive and, uh, I, I told her one day, I was like, I'm just, I'm coming over. I'm coming over. You can't say no to me. I can drive. And, uh, I think that's how I sealed the deal. Having a driver's license. Guys, that's the way to go. You got to drive to get chicks nowadays. Hey, John, can you quote Mark Wahlberg in fear when he screams through the door hole to Mr. Walker? I don't remember how that scene goes, but the scene I most remember out of fear was with uh, Mark Wahlberg is... I've done that once. Um, if you don't know what that was, just watch fear. Johnny Sog... Cock. What would you name? What would your name be if you had a sex change? And what would it be if? Would it be Princess Flickalina? It'd probably be Joni. My dad, when I was younger, always called me Joni, as in a reference to giving me a girl's name. He called me Joni instead of Johnny. So uh, that's probably what scarred me mentally and emotionally as a kid. Hey, John, what's your favorite football teams? 
I'll go with the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, uh, I know, I know, but hey, uh, kind of that was like my family's team. Uh, not a huge football fan, so we'll just go with Cincinnati Bengals. I know, don't hate me. Uh, did you buy Evil Dead on Blu-ray? I did not buy it. Is your girlfriend the only woman you have had made love to? I uh, I PG-13 to that question. Um, no, no. Um, like I said, back in high school, that was... That was the pinnacle of my life. Have you seen Sergio Leone, Leone's Once Upon a Time in the West? I have seen it. Um, a, a Fistful of Dynamite or Once Upon a... Uh, Fistful of Dynamite, no. Once Upon a Time in America, I have seen that. I remember I, re I read about Once Upon a Time in America. When that first came out, everyone critically hated that movie. Like, literally hated that damn movie. And I guess he went back in and recut the movie uh, to make it better. And I, I watched it once... I overall enjoyed the movie. If you can get past the first five minutes of the movie with the phone constantly ringing, which made me want to punch myself in the head, good movie. Uh, hey John, I'm 17 and I've started to go to the gym. Do you have any advice? Just have a good diet or as good as you can and, and just go work out and have fun with it. Have fun, that's the key. Have fun when you work out. How would you feel about Gosling as Batman? Absolutely no. No, 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 no. Ryan Gosling as Batman is all completely wrong in every way of the sense. Uh, physically not right, not big enough, not brooding enough, and I want an older Batman for the next movie. I want a, a middle-aged Batman who's a, a veteran. He's a little beat up, but he understands how to kick ass, and he's ready to go. Ryan Gosling with his understated acting style, not right. I don't want it. Um, I just went off on a rant right there. Me and Batman, it's not healthy. Yo, John, I made memes of you and Chris Stuckman. I sent them to you on Facebook, but you never looked at it. Made me cry. No, I, I'm, I guarantee you I've looked at those. I just, sometimes I check Facebook my phone and I just don't respond to it because I'm usually driving down the road like an asshole on my phone, but I've seen them. I think I've seen, I think I know what you're talking about. I've seen them. Every message, 90% of the comments I get on YouTube, I look at these things. I really do. By the way, you're looking huge in your videos now. You actually look a lot like Bane in The Dark Knight Rises. You should start your own fitness channel. I, I, I do want to start a workout channel, um, and I, I wouldn't want to become the guy who acts like he knows everything, because I don't. I'm, I'm learning, and I think that'd be the fun of the channel. It's kind of like we learn together, but I, we have fun with it. Um, so maybe down the road, because I do, working out in movies are the two things in my life right now that I'm really uh, going after, and I, I, the fitness channel would be fun. Um, yeah, I, it might happen one of these days. It's, it's on the back burner. Um, if you guys would like to see that channel, let me know down below. I don't know how many of you, I know a lot of my viewers are into working out, but I'm not quite sure how many. Um, what do you think will happen to Walter, stupid son on Breaking Bad? Hank Jr.? Hank Jr. is a genius and a comedic master. Uh, uh, what? Pancakes! Fuck yeah you do, man. Here, take some sausage too and a little bit of eggs. You want to talk about milk with that, Walt Jr.? Or should I call you Flynn? Um, I don't know what's going to happen to him. I think the kids will survive Breaking Bad. You can't kill the kids. Um, say something truly disgusting. And puts an ocean in the basket. Would you be angry if Mel Gibson got cast as the new Batman? Uh, well, back in the late... I got all these little facts today, don't I? Back in the late 80s, 1989 Batman, Mel Gibson was actually considered to play Batman instead of Michael Keaton. Which I think would have been pretty interesting. Hey, John. What do you think will be better? Star Wars Episode Seven or Interstellar? I am looking forward to Interstellar, Christopher Nolan's next movie, and I think it's going to be, I'm very interested because it's a space movie where they go through like wormholes in space and time travel, I, like that's the kind of things that interest me, but uh, Star Wars 7, man, how can you not just be pumped for that? That's probably a notch above Interstellar for me. Hey John, I recently just watched Point Break, good movie, I like Patrick Swayze's character, although a little bit... I wish he had more depth. I thought Keanu Reeves' acting was pretty bad. I want to know if you agree. That's not the point of Point Break. That is not the point of Point Break. Um, Bodhi is a spiritual figure who wants to rob banks to fund his endless summers. 
Uh, Johnny Utah, his name's fucking Johnny Utah. Okay. <laughs> He's not, no one in that movie is going to have that much depth. But uh, overall, that is the quintessential early 90s movie. Do you watch Sherlock on BBC? I, uh, I've never watched it. Everyone tells me to. It's just, if someone could put the Blu-ray in my hand and say, here you go, I'd, pro I'd watch it. When are you going to do another Blu-ray collection video? Uh, I'm actually going to do one uh, full Blu-ray collection video here in the next, I, very soon. Very soon. I don't want to give you an exact date. It's on the list of things to do. Uh, it's going to, yeah, those videos literally drain my soul when I do them. So I got to be very precise and time it just right. Uh, so I, I am going to do one because I think it's time because I have enough new movies to really justify doing it. 1080i or 1080p? 1080p, uh, 1080i is interlaced, and that means it's it's simply just not as good. Uh, Walter Jesse, oh definitely Walt Jesse. Uh, I like Jesse, but I can only take so much of him. Hey bitch! I don't know what that was. That was a bad Jesse. Um, what up, Flick? Has anyone ever told you you look like the love child of Scarlett Johansson and Patrick Wilson? Yeah, I'll take that though. Yes, they have. Have you seen Rockstar starring Mark Wahlberg? Absolutely. Phenomenal, funny ass movie with Jennifer Aniston in it. Mwah. That's what I that's what I do when I talk about Je so, so, whatever the fuck that was, that's what I do when I talk about Jennifer Aniston. Uh yeah, the rock are hilarious. When Mark Wahlberg goes in that recording studio and just goes, ah for like five minutes, comedy gold. Have you seen the leaked Guardian? Guardians of the Galaxy trailer. Looks interesting, at least to someone who's never read anything about it. Yeah, I don't know anything about that. That's kind of like the B-team of the Marvel Universe. And, uh... I, um... Uh, I'll watch the movie, but the trailer, the leaked trailer that I've seen, it looks interesting to watch, but I'm not, like, dying to see it. I don't... I don't know. Yo, Deadpool, when's your movie coming out? Uh, do you... Uh, yeah, hopefully they make a Deadpool movie soon. It's like... You have gold. You literally have a property that's a comic book property that has a huge fan base. Just make the movie. There you go. Hey, John, I just saw the trailer for Don John playing on the internet and in theaters. There were a lot of things I saw that reminded me of you and your lifestyle. Working out, living on your own, <laughs> porn, Scarlett Johansson, etc. Yeah, I agree. That tra Somebody told me that when they watched that trailer. That, that literally is your life, John. And I agree. That Don John movie it pretty much is the bioepic of my life kind of sort of but they rearrange some things um i won't do a review of the trailer but i will see the movie and do a review on the movie uh you know that many people think of the dark knight and the dark knight rises the exact same way you think of casino royale and skyfall <clears throat> yeah i i get what you're saying but vice versa in a lot of ways i don't know i i think casino royale is the better 007 movie by far but for another time, another place. And, uh, yeah, I, I do agree with that statement, though. Uh, yo, Johnny, can you grow a beard? It looks, it would look pretty badass on you. Um, you gotta stretch. Gotta stretch out every, every few minutes. Don't want to cramp up. Um, I can't grow a full beard. It gets a little bit patchy. Like, it comes in good here. It comes in okay there. But then it gets all patchy and I look like a burn victim. Um, I could grow... I'm trying to think of an actor I could grow facial hair like. Kinda sorta Christian Bale-ish. If you look at Christian Bale's facial hair in The Dark Knight Rises, it's like, what the fuck's happening up there? Something along those lines. Th that would be as good as it could ever be. With a lot of love and care. So that's why I keep it clean. Yo, Johnny Heisenberg, why have you stopped filming upstairs? You know why? Because down here, this is the Flick Cave. I'm at home down here, dark, secluded, underground. People can't hear the screams coming. And also, you know what? I uh, I can move around down here a little bit, a little bit more room. Um, hey, John, there's a new protein supplement with more grams like the one you take, but with different flavors. Same company. That's what I have, man. That's what I'm using. It's got 60 grams of protein. I buy the peanut butter flavor one. It's delicious. It's uh, by Body Fortress. It costs $15 at Walmart. You can't beat it. Everyone, if you want to take protein, that's where you get it from. But anyway, I just got really tired all of a sudden. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Once again, leave your questions down below. I'll answer them next week in an all new Q&A. And like I said, if you guys want to leave a viewer video, uh, please make it short. 
20 seconds tops. Um, get in, get out. That's the motto in life. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And if you haven't already, uh, please join me on Facebook. I'll put the link down below. That's where I post random pictures of stuff that doesn't really matter. But, you know, it's fun. It's interesting. Um, and that's where I like to interact the most. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.